I'm Pete Faulkner. I'm a board member with Australian Chocolate. Um, I've been in Australia for 16 years, um, originally a POM. Um, my early career was as an investment banker in the city of London. Um, I left that in 1996 um, and went traveling for 10 years and spent time living in the French Alps, in Spain, uh, in Central America, traveled all over Australia, New Zealand, South Pacific, uh, time in Indonesia. Here yeah, that 10 years settled in uh, far north Queensland in Mission Beach up here in beautiful Queensland um, and have been here ever since. And I run a, with my partner, we run a business consultancy practice here in, uh, in the far north. Uh, and I got involved with Charlie's and Australian Chocolate uh, pretty much from the, from the beginning. Um, we were friends with um, Chris and Lynn um, and when they had the idea of starting to plant cocoa, uh, they came and spoke to us and we listened and took on board what they were saying. Uh, and then a little while later, they went out looking for investment into the idea and we were early investors into the, uh, into the original Charlie's Chocolate. Well, Lenin Crest had already had a successful business, a real opportunity to get in at the ground floor in a not just a new business, but really a new industry for the local business, employ local people. That was always a big part of it. Um, and look, who doesn't like chocolate? You know, I need to get involved in a chocolate. One thing that everybody is interested in is when I say I sit on the board of Australian chocolate. That's the one that, that everybody perks up. So um, I've been involved with um, conservation and, and resource management for, I don't know, 40 years. Um, particularly marine conservation. So I started out as a reef, um, uh, monitoring reefs as volunteer um, back in the 80s. Um, so I've been doing that for a long, long time. Um, since being in Australia, I've also got involved in natural resource management. So I sit on two natural resource management boards up here in the far north. Um, and that has led to a position more recently with the Aboriginal Carbon Foundation, um, which is an organisation that creates trades and trains um, Aboriginal communities as carbon farmers, basically. So that's a really interesting space, obviously, with the whole um, move towards net zero by 2050 and you know, the, the ESG revolution and, and organisations taking much more interest in offsetting and minimising uh, emissions. Getting involved in the carbon market is, is something quite interesting, not only from the natural resource management side and conservation side, but also because it's an asset and it's a traded instrument. So it ties into my kind of investment banking um, history from many years ago uh, and the skills involved in developing and trading um, financial instruments, which is essentially what carbon credits are. I mean, I started out diving, um, as I said, back in the 80s um, and got into it pretty heavily and have done a lot of diving over the years. I became a dive instructor, um, I don't know, 25 years ago, something like that. I'm not sure when. Um, and uh, yeah, we've, we've done, my wife's a dive instructor as well. So we've, we've spent a lot of time um, both recreationally diving, diving with um, conservation charity. So I, do, I did a lot of training of um, volunteer surveyors in the GDR. Um, and yeah, we, so we've done a lot of diving. And we ended up living in Honduras for two years um, as dive instructors and dive um, supervisors in, in Honduras. And, and we've worked elsewhere in, in the world. Forest here, and we wanted to be close to diving. and. Uh, Mission Beach generally, the whole area has quite a conservation-based ethos, so yeah. that was quite... Mm -hmm.